from gas to groceries, prices are up due to record inflation. Californians are paying the most in the country for a gallon of gas and food prices don't seem to be going down. The high prices have some searching for other ways to get what they need. Yeah, time to get creative. Case Area 3's Melanie Wingo in our newsroom right now. So Melanie, people are getting these items for free? Yes, that's right. They buy nothing. And that's the name of this global movement. I heard from the Buy Nothing Project's founders tonight who say that people are giving and receiving food, groceries, clothing, school supplies, outfits for job interviews, household goods, and other tangible items making life easier for them as we come out of the pandemic and navigate this rough economy with high inflation. If you've ever wanted to try out a salad spinner or found yourself in need of a paper calendar halfway through the year, perhaps you could use a muffin tin without much mileage. Chances are someone in your community's Buy Nothing group has what you're looking for. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the Buy Nothing movement is right up Ken Smith's alley. According to BuyNothingProject.org, the movement itself was started in 2013 as a way to build community by connecting people through hyperlocal gifting and reducing impact on the environment. There are now Buy Nothing groups worldwide. There's been so many things that I've given away and so many things that I've gotten. And that's exactly the idea. If you're not going to make use of those picture frames or indoor grill, anymore, maybe somebody else will. I'd rather give it to somebody that actually can use it. Ken's gifted numerous items in his community's Buy Nothing Facebook group. If you have stuff in your house that you don't want, somebody will take it. 90% uh, of the time, not all the time. Including, of all things, string cheese that wasn't lactose free, like the kind he thought he purchased at his local grocery store. The wrong cheese. <laughs> <laughs> did somebody take that off your hands eventually? Oh, yeah, they, they did. I, I got two people to take that. Sometimes Ken goes ISO in search of an item, like the time he asked for people's junk mail envelopes. He uses them for his to-do lists. This is an envelope somebody gave me. Buy Nothing founders promote their mission being a success, sharing that there are 6.5 million Buy Nothing community members around the world, 13,000 Buy Nothing community builders. They say there are 7,500 communities with Buy Nothing groups and 450,000 Buy Nothing app downloads worldwide. People participating in the gifting economy at a time when buying all new things is more challenging than ever. The stuff that goes on by nothing, people actually use, or if they don't, they look at it or they use it or they try it and they don't like it, they re gift it. Now, all of this free sharing, according to founders, connects people and builds communities. Now, the easiest way to find out if your community has a Buy Nothing page is to do a simple search on Facebook. Just type in Buy Nothing and then your town. And you can also check out the main movement website at buynothingproject.org. Reporting live in the newsroom, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.